Okay, the other topic that we will be uh, covering today is a topic that we have hinted about earlier is saturation. An op-amp is not a linear device. An op-amp is a non-linear device, but we use it in such a fashion that uh, it, it remains in a linear region. And we will look at this non-linearity today. We have uh, discussed earlier that an op-amp has two inputs and one output. And then there are other pins, for example, there are other, other pins for supplying, supplying two types, two, two voltages. We must power up the op-amp for it to operate. So there is a positive voltage. I think uh, the book refers to them as V plus and V minus. So a positive voltage gets connected here. Usually it is from five to 24 volts in, in, in op-amp 741. Uh, suppose we have an op-amp that has plus 12 volt connected here and then minus 12 volt connected here. This may be could be non-inverting input, the inverting input, and we have this output voltage, output pin. Uh, now suppose, uh, let us let us look at this this circuit, the inverting configuration, and let us take some um, some examples, or, or or maybe let let us come up with a uh, non-inverting configuration, for the sake of eliminating this negative sign here to simplify things for you. So suppose this is the input, and we have this configuration. This is the non-inverting amplifier so the in input is not at the non-inverting input but the uh, at the at not the, at the inverting input but the non-inverting input and this vo as we know is equal to one plus rf over ri into vi so we apply some vi here and get vo here up till now by looking at this expression we can see that Supposedly, if this factor is say 10, the gain is 10, then VO is equal to 10 VI. How would we get 10 here? So suppose this is one kilo ohm resistor, and this may be a nine kilo ohm resistor. So nine by one, uh, one is nine, nine plus one is 10. In, in such a situation, if VI is one volt, we get 10 volt at the output. If VI is minus one volt, we get minus 10 volt at the output. If it is zero, we get zero. So let us let us plot a graph here. A graph between, not between something with respect to time, but this is a very interesting graph and you should pay uh, close attention because you are uh, basically uh, more used to graphs that, that have time on the x-axis but here we have the input voltage at the x-axis and the output voltage on the y-axis so we want to see how is vo dependent on vi and we want to see whether the this this terminal behavior of the op-amp vo here vi here uh, is linear or not for example if you remember the vi characteristic characteristics for uh, resistor is a straight line that passes through the origin so basically this resistance is equal to V over I at at any point at any value of V and I corresponding values so th this is a linear relationship between V and I but let us see whether we have a linear relationship here or not remember uh, the op-amp is powered up by these uh, let us assume the op-amp is powered up by minus 12 volt or for simplicity's sake minus 10 volts and plus 10 volts so the op the op amp output cannot go beyond this these and we can very easily see this in lab in using actual op amp circuits but this this expression does not tell us this thing that it will not go beyond this so if we if we have vi equal to 10 we are going to have vo over 100 so this expression does not limit us this is a, an additional knowledge 
we must know that op amp output cannot go beyond this so if this is the case what happens when we when we have zero vi vo is zero when we have 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 vi the output would be 5 volts when we have 1 1 volt of vi the output would be 10 volts but now what happens when vi is greater than 1 output cannot go beyond beyond this so for say 2 volts vi the output would be 10 and now if we keep on increasing vi the output would not increase so we are going to get a straight line right it's linear up till here but after that it changes it's it no longer continues its tra trajectory and similarly for vi equal to minus 1 we are going to get minus 10 volts at the output and this will be linear till this point and then it will saturate at this value of minus 10. So you see whatever the uh, v value of Vi is, uh, output voltage is not linearly related to it for all values of Vi. It is the linear relationship between Vo and Vi holds in this range only. So when Vi is between minus one and one volts, only then the op-amp is said to be in the linear region. So within this part, it is the linear li region and here it is not in the linear region. It is called as the positive saturated region, Pos positive saturation and here it is negative saturation. In saturation, you can very easily see that this relationship does not hold this relationship only holds here so at most uh, at most um, uh, we try our best basically to keep the op amp in normal operation in this linear region we don't want over over uh, op amp to start operating in the saturation region because then the output would not be dependent on the uh, on on this relation such a relationship uh, with vi so uh, we, uh, when designing open uh, designing means when making open circuits for practical applications we basically look at the uh, the variation in the input voltages voltage and we look at the um, our configuration values of RF and RI the gain the gain and uh, let me represent this gain by k the input uh, voltage variation the gain and then we choose the supply voltages appropriately v plus and v minus appropriately such that the op amp remains in linear region So this is important to know. In the saturation region, the ideal op-amp model does not operate, does, is not valid. There will be input currents going into the op-amp and these two voltages may not be the same. These ideal op-amp characteristics only apply when the op-amp is operating in the linear region. That is, VI is such that VO is within these bounds. So this is very important to know.